Um, wait, I, I need to think a little bit more. I can't. No I need to think a little bit. No Sorry. Problem. I just don't. I'm half Brazilian, half American. My mom is Brazilian. My father is American. Um, and I grew up mostly in Brazil, near Sao Paulo City. Um, but I also, when I was young, I spent a little bit of time in living in the U.S. My parents are not very religious. My father is actually not at all, but my mom is. So she's, her family is Catholic. Um, but we would go sometimes to Catholic church, sometimes to like ecumenical Christian churches. It was one point in my life when I told myself that I would never, that I actually would never follow like any specific religion because I felt that sometimes it seemed like religions would divide people more than bring them together. So it was really when I went in Mor to Morocco that I became, I think, that I became really interested in in Islam. And so after that, it was, it was this teacher actually that um, told me, that invited me to, to a program in Spain that was happening at that year. And it was there that I met um, uh, Sh Sh Sheikhs like uh, Sheikh Yahya Rodas and Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, and it was really upon like hearing their lessons that I was just like, this is the truth. Like this is what I believe in in my heart. And that's when like in those three days, that's when I really began um, thinking like seriously about converting to Islam. And it was like it was a huge conflict within me. Like it was because in my mind. Uh, in my heart, and I was, I was like, this is, this is, this is it. This is the truth. Like I fully believe in this. But then in my mind, I had so many barriers to, like, to accepting Islam. I was so afraid. I was really afraid um, about the reaction of my family and friends. I was afraid that they would not understand that, you know, that they would question me. You know, all the stupid stereotypes about Islam, like in the media and stuff. People really don't know. They have no idea. But I was also afraid that, like, m Muslims would say that I'm not doing things right. Because um, I, I really didn't think I could do it. You know, I, I was like, this is so beautiful, but I don't think I can pray five times a day. Like, I don't think I can fast. Even the, the day, the night after I accepted Islam, like, I still was, I was really afraid. <laughs> yeah, then my, my, I mean, I told my parents over the phone because I was in Morocco. Um, and I think, you know, I think, but I think they only really realized when I went back to Brazil. Because um, I think that maybe they might have thought like, oh, this is just like a phase she's going through or something. Uh, but but actually, my mom said something really beautiful. Like when I was talking to her, she said, "Well, if um, if Islam makes you feel closer to God, then I'm happy for you." So of course, there's some things that it's are difficult, a little bit difficult for them to understand, and um, and that's normal. I can't expect them to like relate to everything that I'm going through or to understand everything that I'm going through. Because it can't, some things can be, you know, strange and like really new for them. So, I, but I feel like I'm, I'm the one that has to kind of relate to them. Because I was there, you know, some of their, I understand some, exactly like a lot of their concerns, a lot of their fears, because I was the same, you know, like before. Like one of the things that I said I was afraid of was that I would like change completely or something. Um, but I think that the things that, you know, my, my central, my core is I'm still the same person as I always was, and you will, and you will always be. I think that Islam just helps me, has, has helped me, um, like, undo the things that, you know, the habits or the ne negative thought processes, like, unlearn some of the things that were just, that I was just carrying that just are not unnecessary, that are unimportant. I definitely think that Islam helped improve my relationship with my family. I feel like my purpose in life is more, much clearer right now. Like before I didn't really have, I guess, a purpose in life. Moments, especially moments of difficulty, of trial, that I would catch myself like running to God. And then in those moments I would really realize like, you know, I need this, like I need this. If you try to be the best person you can be with everyone around you, because because really Islam should make your relationships with those with other people improve. I mean, of course there are some hardships. Maybe with there might be some tensions with people understanding, but ultimately your relationships with them should should become better when you're a Muslim, because that's what that's what we're asked for, right? We're asked for it to be the best we can be, especially to our families and to, to everyone around us. Always, always your fears, my, my fears were much greater than 
then there had to be like everything that I was really afraid about was really not such a huge concern afterwards. You will still be yourself. The change will, will be a natural change. It should be a natural change that comes from within you, from your heart. And it's a change you, that will bring you closer, inshallah, closer to God. Um, like everything that you let go of are things that were just, you know, barriers between you and God before.